Alright, so hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video, and today I finally decided to use my one and only Umbra Forma, and the Warframe I chose for it was the Baruch. I've had the Forma for a while now, and the entire time I was thinking about which Warframe I would like to use it on, because I didn't want to go the route of just putting it on a frame to make an Umbra setup easier to fit in. I wanted to go with a frame where I simply cannot fit in all three of the Umbra mods while keeping the build that I wanted to use. One Warframe that I thought about was actually Rhino just making a really juicy Iron Skin setup, but since I didn't max out all the Umbra mods, which is still something I would not recommend you do, just keep them one or two ranks from the top, which makes them much easier to fit in into a normal build, I can, with a blitz up to form, just use a setup like this and save the format for something better, which ultimately ended up being Baruch. Now the reason I chose Baruch was pretty straightforward. This is the build that I absolutely love and that I used to run on Baruch and you can see that it's just a direct upgrade, right? If I can take out steel fiber and put in umbra fiber, I'm gonna get more armor, more health and more strength. More specifically, nearly 100 more armor, 150 health and 10% extra strength, which is pretty big for this setup. So just a quick recap, the ore I'm using here is Corrosive Projection, this is pretty big for Desert Wind, it just reduces the enemy armor, makes it far more effective, then I have Handspring, because once again I use Desert Wind and Melee a lot, so I like to have some knockdown recovery for when I inevitably get too close to like a Heavy Gunner and Bombard and I get knocked down, so I can spring right back up, then I have a fully ranked Fujian Expertise, so I can spam abilities willy nilly, and the negative duration isn't that big of a deal, then I have Adaptation, which works really well with his daggers, because by the time you lose enough daggers to actually start taking damage, you're already adapted to the type of damage you're taking and that makes you really really beefy now following that we have the three umbra mods of course so we have umbra fiber we have umbra vitality and umbra intensify for a ton of armor health and power strength respectively and it also adds a little bit of tower resist, which is pretty good, though not that useful at the moment. Now, following that, we have Transient Fortitude to add even more oomph to the punches of Desert Wind. And once again, this cripples duration, but it doesn't really matter because I don't use the first ability at all. Next on the menu is Stretch, and this is purely for draining restraint because it makes the daggers from Baruch's third ability seek out enemies at a longer distance, and it also increases the radius of his second ability. And the final mod I have here is Hunter Adrenaline, which is really important because it converts damage done to health into energy, and this in combination with the fully ranked fighting expertise means that I always have energy to spam abilities and drain restraint really fast. And then since I want this build to be as tanky as possible, I also have a fully ranked Arcane Grace and Arcane Guardian so that when I get hit, I have a chance to get health regen and flat armor. Oh yeah, and as far as the Desert Wind build is concerned, it's the same as before, so it's just a crit build with a ton of attack speed. This setup is absolutely wonderful to run on Baru, I love it, and I know I'm not the only one because I've had plenty of you leaving comments like, dude, I wasn't quite sure about Baruch, but holy crap, that build is really fun. And I know, right? It is really fun, it's great. It works so well in so many different situations, it's really versatile, you can just run around with the daggers and that's it, you have a ton of damage reduction and you have adaptation underneath that, you can run around and just put things to sleep with a second ability, or you can run around and pop Desert Wind every now and then, or you can combine it all together and sustain Desert Wind forever. So all in all, it's just a really beefy setup that can survive pretty much anything the game can throw at you, you can do any mission type with it, you can run it with guns, you can run it with melee or sort of an exalted caster that uses Desert Wind and supplements it with other abilities. And the best part about it is that you don't have to go as far as I did with the modding and the arcanes and stuff, because the build doesn't change as you progress through the different tiers of mods, it just becomes stronger. So, even though the build isn't going to be as strong and as beefy, you can just go with standard mods and with some basic arcanes, and then if you really like it, you might want to transition into this, which is just amazing. And that is pretty much all I wanted to say, so I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye bye!